All right, guys. Welcome back to our scrapyard of a lab. We're here doing a couple of experiments. Actually, I'm here right now. The uh, gang hasn't showed up yet. They're doing, I guess, whatever they need to do. Um. Well, what I was gonna do though was, oh, here comes Scoots. We got somebody showing up. Well, what I was planning on doing, hey, thanks for showing up, Scoots, was a couple of experiments. I guess Scoots could help me. He's the only one who's tuned in at the moment, knows what's going on. And um, we're going to experiment with something called planetary gear systems and see if that's feasible. Uh, we're going to look at an alternative for turning systems here with this vehicle. And... Um, Whatever else happens, happens. It'll be cool. Oh, Scoots is going to give us a little bit of a preview of how that works. But um, this was actually kind of inspired by Scrapman with his camber wheels. And I think Wanderbots is who he said inspired him. So it's a big circle of inspiration. But stay tuned. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to do some experiments. We're going to look at some of the stuff people left laying around in the scrapyard. And it's just going to be a scrappy good time. See you soon. Bye-bye. Alright guys, welcome back. We are in, and yes, we are modded. Inventory. Oh wait. Inventory. And uh, that's why you see a beach ball. It's the only way you get to beach ball with the derf mod. And the, um... MJM combo mod as long as well as the Grego yes that's Grego mod at the bottom but there's a beach ball when I saw the beach ball and I saw scrap um, scrap man's video the other day I was so excited because I was thinking you know what using the curve of a beach ball and using a beach ball for your camber wheel instead of say a regular wheel you could build almost a planetary style infinite Gearage system, depending on what part of the sphere is contacting the ground, just by shifting it and rotating it, kind of like in this vehicle that got crashed over here. So, it was an experiment, and uh, based on cambering the wheels like that, I thought, you know what, we could get slower and faster speeds, but then I realized, well, we need to do some tests first. We need to test the beach ball to see if we're going to have different rates of rotation along its surface, right? Right, Scoots? That makes sense. So what I did was I said, you know what, what's a good way to tell? We'll grab some duckies here and we'll start putting some duckies on this beach ball and see if they move faster on different parts of the beach ball. As I was doing this, I realized, you know what, they're all lining up on one side. Let me try this side. And they all do the same thing. They just line up on the side. And I said, you know what? Uh, there needs to be a vector or a curve to the stuff that we put on the beach ball. Or else we're not going to get that uh, planetary style gearage system. So I said, you know what? It doesn't look like planetary systems are going to be able to be set up like that because um, the curve of the beach ball isn't really being calculated in scrap mechanic mechanics. What I did discover though that was neat was the beach ball in relation to say a couple of duckies here is pretty light and uh, you could tell it's light because when you look at it from the side you see how the beach ball wiggles that means that the weight of the ducks is throwing the entire beach ball off axis while it's spinning. Very interesting. It's good for us little lab engineers to, to know about these things because if you're not sure about the weight of something, uh, spinning it could tell you a lot about how the weight is distributed. There's Scoots is pushing it with the uh, lift there to show you how much bearing stretch we get in relation to that. Another neat thing to do though is since we have an imbalance here, you can also balance your wheels too by putting something on the opposite side and 
seeing how that imbalance was canceled now because we got ducks spinning like crazy around the beach ball they're having the best time ever they are just going for a spin but I don't want the duckies to get too sick so let's turn it off alright you know I only like to have the best geniuses and the smartest people on my team so being aware of these weight distributions and whether these advanced concepts are possible that's really good to know about right Scoots glad I have Scoots here with me he's such a bro um such a Dougie this this was another attempt based on what I was inspired by um, Scrapman Scoots go ahead and jump on you were demonstrating this vehicle earlier um, but let's go over what I was trying to accomplish here uh, let's say you're a purist you absolutely don't believe in glitch steering and the work and the sort like that this is a pretty decent way to show how you could do a type of glitch type steering but it's not really any glitch at all it's just the cambering of the wheels so show how accelerating and turning left and right gets you to rotate on this so he's gonna accelerate and that gives you rotation but it is completely friction based if your wheels lose contact with the ground you're not going to be turning you're probably wondering chief what are these wheels on the side that I have these little tiny wheels well I was seeing if I could get it to go forward and back while these wheels were flat but I just couldn't get enough of a variance in the spacing between the cambering of the wheel and the placement of a regular wheel I tried the two two block size wheel, I tried the one block size wheel, I cannot get it to be able to go forward and back. But you know what? I think there are a lot smarter duckies, geniuses out there than I am. So maybe you could figure out a way to get it so that when you're not cambering to have forward and back. I'm gonna keep working on this, so let's see who comes up with it first, me or you guys. But um, I see this as a challenge, and I got the rotation aspect figured out, the tank style turning. But I didn't get the forward and back movement worked out. So uh, like I said, we'll see about this in future experiments. So let's see, any other interesting news? Yes, we've been having a bunch of events here. And uh, I would like to see some of those, uh, ob some of those builds that we were working on uh, be shown in some of the videos. Perhaps in the next video, we were doing some pinball events. We made our own pinball machines, that was super fun, but um, people who built them aren't here right now, so I'm going to be able to demonstrate them. But we are going to take a look around at some of the builds that were left here in the scrapyard. 8-Bit left a couple of builds here. Uh, Scoots, you could go pull out a new build if you had something you wanted to share with the community that you were having fun with. This one's always a fun one here that 8-Bit uh, loves to drive around. And uh, oh my gosh, Scoots just pulled out a really cool build. Let's go check that out. But um, your X-wing, Scoots. Oh my goodness, this is your latest in your series of Star Wars builds. You all really need to check out Scoots's uh, workshop. He has so many amazing builds he's doing right now. He's got the Star Wars thing going, right, Scoots? totally into Star Wars um, I'm a big fan of Scoots so much amazing work and they're so cool looking too uh, I'm gonna end the video here and I'm gonna be doing some flying around having some fun with Scoots and whoever else happens to pop in uh, keep dreaming keep building guys and see you next time bye bye
scoots. You totally nailed the sound effect from the movie. That is so awesome. <laughs> 